I mean you no harm. I'm not here for you. But once I put all the pieces of the puzzle together, I'm sure we'll have a little chat, you and me. Stay away from me, McCullum. You and all your war dogs. That I can't guarantee, Dr. Reed. But I'll let you go. For now. Uh, you mean you don't want to die? I should probably but leave now. the theater right now. That sounds like a pretty good idea. So, McCullen is the Pridwin guy, and I could have set him up by telling the inspector about him and hoping the inspector... Lord, give us strength! Lord, give us strength! All right, is that McCullen or is that his people? I think that's his people. Am I getting herded in a certain... The West time? End should be safe now, but London is not. It would be wise to benefit from the Ascalon's protection while I continue my research during the great. <laughs> okay, so the, the... Oh, dear. So I have to go and hang around at the Ascalon Club. I don't want to leave until I've absolutely... Fear no evil. We do the Lord's work here. Is that locked? Right. There is a letter here. New Doris Fletcher's diary. Soon I'll be on stage again, for my rehearsals are almost over. My minions are gathered around me, ready to follow my every command. Soon my audience will return, ready to applaud my art. The young, the gorgeous, my healthy audience. They'll return to their families, their beautiful houses and happy lives. Delighted by my performance, shocked by my disguise, touched by my grace, my infectious legacy. They'll spread the disease one by one, and they'll turn. And I'll be their beloved queen again. And they'll never forget me. And I shall have my revenge on the dirty trick fate played on me. Right. Okay, then. So, she was totally, totally mad. Hoping for a sort of immortality through fame. And when that began to fade, an immortality through... Infectious vampirism. These people want me dead. I need to leave now. Uh, they've wanted me dead pretty much from the start. This is not a new situation. Out of curiosity, nothing seems to have changed. But I now need to, oh, still escape the theater. I've not made it out of the theater yet. Really? This seems pretty out to me. All right, you know what? So Doris just needed to be close to her audience to infect them. Contagion through skin. Very disturbing. Yeah. Support Ascalon Club against the guard of Prid. Oh. Okay, so I, I need to go and help the Ascalon Club against the guard of Pridwin. The only thing is, Dr. Swansea, I've got this strange urge to speak to Dr. Swansea. However, I think now is probably not the best time, it would seem. The Ascalon Club is under attack, and... I have a horrible feeling that if I don't help out, they will be in a lot more trouble than they would care to admit. Okay. But... You... You probably shouldn't be here. Good Just... evening, Miss Ashbury. And good evening to you, Dr. Reed. Uh... No, could you... Goodbye, Charlotte. Go away. Give my best regards to your mother when you see her. She's been quite busy these last few nights. I suspect you may see her before me. Uh, to be honest with you, I have a feeling I'm not going to see her for quite some time. Should I go and talk to the doctor now? Should I go and chat to the Oh, he's miles away. I'm sure he'll want to chat later. 
It's just occasionally I'm worried I'm missing something. Arthur Pembleton? Alright. Uh, you, you are a vampire, yes? Arthur? For as long as I've been a member, I've never seen so few vampires attending the club nights. Le oh! Elizabeth, what are you doing here? I've been formally asked to witness your triumph, my dear. After all, isn't it the natural role of a woman to support her man in victory? But it's you who insisted I join the Ascalon. Okay. Please forgive my giddiness. I'm just overcome by the thrill of finally being allowed within these hallowed halls. You certainly have an inquisitive mind. It's quite something. Uh, Elizabeth Ashbury, only you can make me smile in these difficult times. And the same to you, Jonathan Reed. Now go have your little chat with the chairman. I can see he's practically bursting to hear your report. I, I, I'm getting a really bad vibe here. Like, she is not happy. You are, who are you? You are Lord Hutchinson. I have a boat ready to go whenever I want. These hunters won't catch me. All right. I'm, oh, no, 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 that's not what I wanted. That is not what I want. That, I, I didn't realize it was the out, out. I was just, I'm checking to see if there are other vampires or other people I know may have, you know, just, 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 I'm just gonna pretend I thought it was the bathroom. Okay, uh, right, yeah, no, I'm just essentially trying to get a feel for what is going on here. Like, I, I just, I'm getting a serious, things are going to go to crap vibe. Lord Finney. And there he is. Okay. Am I going to wait for you? Right. Okay. Welcome back to the Ascalon Club, Lance Bearer. Please, tell us the good news. Have you put an end to the epidemic? My hypothesis was correct. Doris Fletcher was the source of the contagion in this part of town. She was probably the first to be infected. And you cleansed her before the hunters, I've been told. Well done, Dr. Reed. You thrust your lance and pierced the very heart of the corruption. I'm just a doctor. Some questions remain. Some questions definitely remain. But some questions remain. The important thing is, we won a major battle for the survival of London. For that, we salute you. Thank you, my lord. Now, I have another task for you. One of the utmost importance. Perhaps even more so than the previous. I'm listening. It's time for you to perform a most sacred duty for the club. I want you to recruit a new vampire. Recruit a new vampire? Are you sending me on some sort of diplomatic mission? Not exactly. I want you to make Aloysius Dawson the Econ he deserves to be. Where? Eh? D um, why me? Uh, Jib him! I'm not sure I'm the best candidate for such a task. I can hear the hesitation in your voice, Dr. Reed. I admire a man of principles. But in this matter, there is more at stake than your moral comfort. It's not a moral question, Lord Redgrave. It's the responsibility of giving immortality to a man I barely know. Nonsense. Aloysius has been a member of the Ascalon for years. This is but the fruition of a long-held plan. How would you like me to proceed? Aloysius is waiting for you at the Dawson Estate. Once the deed is done, I'll join you there to celebrate this momentous occasion. I have questions. Before I go, I have a few questions. All right, I'm listening. But, uh, yeah, why? Why Aloysius Dawson? Because he is about to die. And he just may be the most influential man in England. After me, of course. 
Did he choose me? Does, does he even know I'm coming? Does he know I'm coming? He can't wait to become your progeny, Dr. Reed. Especially now that you have shown how strong your lineage is through your sister. So he chose me? Did he choose me? No, I did. My decision is very recent, to say the least, but it is entirely mine. I just got the feeling he wasn't necessarily gunning for the whole vampire thing. It's just... It's just... Hmm. How should I proceed? How would you like me to proceed? Don't worry. Aloysius has had many years to prepare himself. He has studied our kind for decades. So there's probably, like, 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 he knows more about this than I do. So shall I just let him drink my blood? Yes. Aloysius will gratefully sup on your blood. His heart will slow, then stop. But he will rise again as one of us, an immortal. Uh, that's not necessarily true, is it? Is there any danger? Our blood alters a mortal body so deeply that some don't survive the metamorphosis. They die for good. But Mr. Dawson has been preparing himself for a long time. Um, all right then. Now the million dollar question. Why the hell did you invite Lady Ashbury? You invited Lady Ashbury? Wouldn't that be breaking one of your cardinal rules? No women allowed. Not allowed as members, no. But considering the circumstances, I thought you'd like to have her here to witness your triumph. So oh. it's a temporary admittance, then. Something of a bargain, considering the crisis we're currently facing. Okay. Goodbye, Lord Redgrave. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa! Wasn't there supposed to be another... Your command... No, oh, apparently not. I, 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 I thought there was like a little other option that, that... Okay, seriously. Understandably, you have questions. Very well, proceed. Oh, so no. Goodbye. So, Lord so Redgrave. asking the questions, it was just an automatic assumption that I was going to say, yay, of course I will, no problem, piece of cake, on my way. This is really... Okay, oh, God. You fail at walking downstairs. Are you all right, Jonathan? Lord no. Redgrave has just ordered me to turn Aloysius Dawson. To make him my progeny. I see. And how do you feel about this? Not good. What? How do you feel about this? Because whilst I may be suspicious of you and everything, including the furniture, you still seem to know more about this than I do, and so far you've been pretty good to me, so... Help? I'd like your advice on the matter. The real question here is, why has his lordship given you this task? Do you think it's some sort of trap? Do you really want to know what I think about this? Yes. I do, yes. To make an immortal of a soulless blackguard like Aloysius Dawson will only lead to a disaster for London. The man is already dead inside. Should I refuse? Perhaps politely suggest that Lord Redgrave turn the man into a vampire himself. Don't you dare, my dear. According to what I've recently discovered, his lordship could kill you for even broaching the subject. Really? Why? I've recently found proof that the Earl of Bristol is of lesser lineage and only capable of creating skulls. I have more questions, maybe. That... Ooh. Please, tell me more about your recent investigation. As long as you lower your voice. I'll do my best. What do you... Wait, just... What would you have me do about Dawson? The man is dangerous. Did you know he plans to build a wall to separate the healthy rich from the sickly poor? Do not make him yeah, your I progeny. Know. What would you do? The man's dying already. Let the Reaper harvest the rotten fruit that is his soul. You want me to kill him? I'm kind of okay with that. I mean, you're right. I mean, he did. He wanted to build a wall to keep the poor people out. And it did. I mean, building a barricade to stop the infected coming in, that's, a, that's an idea. But it did sound more like, let's just keep the riffraff out. 
Are you sure your information about Redgrave is correct? He says he's the progeny of the great knight William Marshall, who lived some nine centuries ago. That's a lie. Lord Redgrave is unable to create anything but skulls, if the poor souls survive at all. How can you be so sure? How can you be sure the information was correct? I made the acquaintance of a most interesting informer while investigating your maker, from whom I learned the truth about Lord Redgrave. Why so vindictive? That sounds like a horrible accusation. I don't want to say that. But what I might be meaning is, why do you, why do you hate him so much? I think is what I, I want to be asking her. And, and I'm worried if I don't ask, she won't tell me. But I, that sounds really rude. Why so vindictive? You suddenly sound like you're angry. Forgive me, Jonathan. I hate myself for it, but I feel such pride in my discovery. I'm afraid I just can't help it. Which is? He did serve William Marshall. And yes, the blood he covets as a token does truly belong to that legendary knight. But he was never his progeny. His lineage is not so noble. Okay. So you just you just you're just really really happy. He's been like you can't join because you're a woman, and it turns out he's just a lowly scal creator. Still sounds a little classist in a kind of way. I mean, they're all like, oh, we don't want the riffraff in, but are we being a bit? Oh well, our blood is purer than theirs, kind of thing. Because because that's the thing I'm picking up here. Right, ha making Dawson an Ekon, yes. What would happen if I made Dawson an Ekon like myself? You would add a powerful immortal into a suffering world. An immortal who already craves authority. Maybe I could teach him control, like you taught me. Lead him down the right path. Mr. Dawson spent his life searching for a way to cheat death. I'm sure he has spent decades dreaming of how he'd spend eternity as a tyrant. I'm not totally sure that's true, but... I mean, he seems dislikable, but a tyrant, it's... I mean, he didn't strike me as the cackling type. Goodbye for now, Elizabeth. Goodbye, my dear. Please, be careful. Yeah, be careful and be paranoid. Now, perhaps... It looks like vampires have to obey Mendel's laws when producing progeny. Powers pass from one generation to another. That's why Dawson wants me to sign him. Right. Yeah, what was it? I might want to evolve a little. Yes, indeed. And what's this? Oh, reach Temple Church entrance. I still am not totally sure that I have found everything there is to find around this area. So I may do a little bit of searching. However, before I do that... I honestly really do want to speak to Dr. Swansea and I'd like to evolve. The problem is I'm still not sure whether or not I should trust Lady Ashbury. I mean, Lord Redgrave is very easy to dislike, but it's the whole... You know, what, what was the saying? Not all that glitters is gold or something. You know, I mean, it's, there is that maybe he's actually a good guy and Lady Ashbury's not. Out of curiosity, did I ever pick up another clue regarding... The, the little argument these guys were having about this particular gentleman's surgery. Good evening, Mr. Fiddick. Good evening, Dr. Reed. It's been Any a... news about my operation? I was thinking the same thing myself, but I've not really... I've not actually for now, discovered anything. I'll see you later. Which is... Okay. As for me, 
Good evening, Dr. Strickland. And good evening to you, Dr. Reed. Can I be of any help? Um... No. Apparently not. Goodbye, Dr. Strickland. So... Right. I do not know what to do about this. I'm quite busy right now, Dr. Reed. Right, okay. So... No, still nothing. Still no... no or at least... Uh, hint... I need a hint. The problem is, is, is these are all, like, you know... Thank you for your time. Suggesting we'll they are dead ends, even though... When I look at them initially, they look vaguely like they may bear fruit. It's a little frustrating. Okay. Swansea. Uh, some things have happened, and I could do with what some advice. News, Jonathan? I've heard you've now joined the vampire elite of London. Did Elizabeth tell you? So it's Elizabeth now. My, my. Things are moving quickly. I turn my back for a moment and away you go. Okay, seriously? We've had a few conversations and that's it, okay? And everyone's, including myself, acting like we're a thing now. I'm not saying we won't be a thing. I'm just saying everyone, including myself, seems to be jumping to a lot of assumptions. Besides, i got to ask, how does that even work with vampires? I mean, we can't eat and drink, right? But, like, like other bodily functions how you know what let's just um your relationship with doris fletcher yes i may have found the source of the contagion doris fletcher the actress thankfully in the end she was destroyed by fire really oh please do tell me more uh she was a heavily mutated skull who's remarkably similar to should i go back to the skulls in the sewers and talk to the old lady, I can't remember her name, Cantankerous Hag. Doris was a heavily mutated skull, almost a new breed entirely. It's as if the disease had completely altered her mind and body, highly contagious. As if the disease had taken control of her will? Yes. Once a beautiful and brilliant woman, she became motivated by hate alone. Oh, she was a beauty. I met her when she visited the hospital to cheer up the sick. <gasps> Too bad the fire destroyed her. But it was probably for the best. Was her mother the cantankerous... Tag? Is that... Because it, it did occur to me when she was talking about... I saw her in the bed. My, my thought was... Is, is, is she talking about her? Have you heard of similar cases? No, I don't think so. Except, perhaps, it reminds me of an old report from the Brotherhood. Well, more an article, really. What was it about? The author, a friar, referred to a rare form of contagion in a skull he observed during the Black Death. The carrier was always female. They called them Icors. Right. Is, I can't remember a bloody name. You know what, we're... we're if I say goodbye, can we have can we have this conversation in a second? Yeah, we can. Of course we can. Of course we can. Because it just I just I'll need. I'll come to... back later. Thank you, Edgar. No, always I'm, a pleasure to just, see you. I'm going to come back in a second. I just need to stand in a corner and jog my bloody memory. Right, she was never. Was she never on this? Li oh, I can't even remember her name. I can't. All right, never mind. Never yes. mind. Right, okay. Have you seen Lady Ashbury? Just... Have you seen Lady Ashbury recently? Yes, she popped in yesterday. Told me about your new friends in the West End. Just a courtesy visit. Yes, and no. She was en route to the docks, I think. Following a lead concerning your maker. The docks? Well, I was down there. You know, and... Oh, never mind. I'm, 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 I'm beginning to think of my father again. How's the situation at the Pembroke? We're still holding out. Question is, for how long? What we really need is hope, Jonathan. Hope for a better tomorrow. Yeah. I'll come back later. Thank you, Edgar. Always a pleasure to see you, my friend. I can't help but feel that I would like to go back to Whitechapel and go into the sewers 
So I thought I saw loot. And have a chat. Because honestly, I think there's a connection there. I really do. I mean, when I first saw uh, Doris, I thought, is it the old woman? Was she was she called Doris? I can't remember. I can't remember a name. I'm terrible with names. I really am terrible with names. But I, was she the old woman? But as you got close, you could see she was actually younger. Um, because, but the whole arm thing. Because because the old woman, she did. She had a really big arm, didn't she? Didn't look quite the same. It wasn't all. I'm definitely going there. I am definitely going there. Before I do that, let's just. Oh, I tell you what, no. Let's evolve first and then see what happens around the district. And then we can we can make the cures we will almost inevitably need. Now I have to decide what I should take. This was this was stamina. I can't increase that on Oh no, I oh I can. Endurance is always a good, good one. I'm not totally sure about the biting at the moment. I'm really not totally sure about the biting. What I really... Oh, blood... What, what, what was this one? What was this one? Right. Um, you throw a large blood spear which can pass through enemies. What does this do? It just does more damage. Is that what it is? This was doing more, more damage. Um, this hits all enemies. Okay, well, what was it? What was it he was doing to leech life from... Making them defenseless. Target's blood will now burst out their body to which. Oh! It's this one! It's this one! So I can. Oh, look at this. You control your target's blood is now stronger and the time of control is increased. What what is this? What does this do? You block your target's blood in their veins, making them defenseless. Right? But with this one, I can actually gain. Oh. Do I want that? I kind of do. I kind of do. But I've already got too many things keyed up. And actually what I'd really like to do is just get more s done. And that's actually a lot faster recovery, isn't it? That would be good. And this one. This means it lasts longer now and recovers faster. Yeah, I, I, I've, I've gone this far. So I'm definitely getting these two, and then I think I'm pretty much out. 230. I'd like to get this a little better as well. 2,000 shadow damage. That would be totally devastating. It would be totally devastating. Now I don't have enough to... Oh, right. Okay, well, that, that will do. That is pretty much it. Okay, 90% in the, is this going up or down? Oh, it's going down, it's going down, it's going down, it went down. We're still healthy, we're still healthy, but we've got fatigue, headache, headache, and headache. Three headaches and fatigue. Holy. No, it's gone down. All right, what we got? Cold, cold, lots of cold, all the cold. Fatigue, headache, and cold. Okay, fatigue, headache, and cold. Whitechapel stable though. It's stable. I mean, it could be worse, right? And it probably will be once uh, I reach mesmerized level five. West End got better though. Yeah, it depends what I'm going to do. Right, and and headache. So I need. Let's let's make all the cures. Let's count how many I need. I'm not totally sure that I'm getting... Ooh. I was about to say, I'm not sure I'm getting the hang of this making everywhere a little more stable thing. For all I know, it could be something as stupid as watering my bloody plant. However, what I should probably do is check the place. More clues seem to be appearing. Uh, right. The patient's face has been heavily burned and disfigured by a bomb during the war. 
Even with the use of the strongest sedatives, he affirms to regularly endure severe pain from the wounds as if flames are still burning under the skin, he says. Examinations of the cicatrized tissue show no trace of inflammation, infection, or swelling. Scars are clean. Could it be a case of persistent nerve damage? The patient never ceases to blame himself for his disfiguration. Could it be a case of guilt of the survivor? Phantom pain manifesting as punishment for not dying with his comrades? I don't know, could it? However, we now have another hint for him, so we can go chat and cure her. But before I do that, let's run around and see if we can find clues, stuff. Dr. Reed, any good news to share? Um, probably not. Well, oh, Nurse Brannigan has been accused. Oh, right, I should have chatted with you about this, should I not? Nurse Brannigan has been recently accused of neglecting her professional duties. Tell me what you really think about it. This kind of protest is nothing but elitist bullshit. I trust Nurse Brannigan with my life. She has what it takes to be a great doctor. Do you really think she could be the next Elizabeth Blackwell? Believe me, Dr. Reed, a time will come when skill and skill alone will determine who can be a physician and who cannot. And uh, I'll definitely go more in that direction, but uh, there'll always be the odd um, whiff of power, influence, money, and other things. Anyway. Do you need any medical assistance yourself, Doctor? Yes, indeed. That is everybody healed. However. Good evening, Mr. Elwood. Evening, Dr. Reed. Okay, so we now have... Yeah, what is the real cause of the injury? Are we? Do we think he's lying? Why do you feel responsible for the injury, Thomas? What really happened? I wasn't disfigured by any German shells. It happened during my leave. It was an accident. What? What, what happened, though? Tell me what really happened, then. I went with a whore in Rouen. Dead drunk, I was. The hotel was a shithole. There was a fire that night. Did you start the fire? Were you trying to avoid going back to the front? That's not uncommon, you know. No. It's just that I was asleep when the flames reached the room. The girl was long gone. Bitch never woke me up. Left me to burn. Why the lie? I mean, you know, you could have just skipped the bit about the... the whorehouse if you thought that was going to be bad news for you. Why lie about it? Come on. It's one thing to come back disfigured by the Germans. And it's another to get injured in an accident that could have happened to anybody. Surgery could help you. Beauty is not everything. You can't hide forever. Beauty is not everything. But he's, he's got pain, right? He's got pain. Surgery could help. Beauty is not everything. It isn't. I mean, the thing is, is I, we're, do we suspect that this is all in your mind? Because if so, surgery is pointless. Well, not pointless, but... Beauty is not everything. You can't hide forever. He can. Beauty is not everything, Mr. Elwood. Says Mr. Pretty Face. What? <sighs> Fine! Sit here and feel sorry for yourself, then, you little... Goodbye for now, Mr. Elwood. Fear and disgust on every street corner. Mr. Pretty Face! Daily routine. I wouldn't exactly say I'm pretty, mate. No, I wouldn't. All right. Fine. That's probably going to make this place a little more miserable. I have a feeling... This can sometimes be affected by how miserable everyone is. Everyone's pretty damned miserable. Now, Whitechapel only has one person ill, and it's my favourite, bestest friend in the whole wide world. But I'm wondering, should I keep my eyes open for more clues? There are still a couple of mysteries 
in this neighbourhood. Yes, there are. Oh, and I'm probably going to have to fight my way there. Usually do. Okay. Anyone else here? No. All right. Okay. That was remarkably effective, wasn't it? That really was remarkably effective. Right. Um, I still haven't totally decided. I still haven't totally decided what to do vis-a-vis -vis the weapons. I do like having a um, firearm on my person, and I don't currently have that set up. No, I don't. I want, I want, Step away, sir. I want it to whoosh. To whoosh. What, and that doesn't bother you. That doesn't let you know incoming vampire. Oh, God. What, somebody? Yes, I heard you. See, it's like... Well, you know what? I actually don't... I don't think it is that much more damage, to be honest. I really don't. I think it's all in my mind. Oh, God. You know what? Science is one thing. But start concentrating a little. Yeah. No, I'm, 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 I'm liking the steak. I do like the steak. This weapon does a huge amount and can attack faster. So I should be able to get more damage a little quicker. It uses a lot of stamina, but I have a lot of stamina. I'm... When did I get the remarkable set? I got that from from Uji Watts, it didn't I? Oh, we need to figure out what we could do with that one. Oh, yes we do. Yes, uh, Doris. Uji Watts, it. You knew what I was saying. You knew what I was saying. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I gotta try that one out. I got right. Do we have a safe house around? Here? I think we do. We have one here. Yes, indeed! Okay, where was the. Oh, there it is. Bench! Right! Let's see what we could do to the remarkable saber. It's. Oh, we need a bunch of good handle parts. It makes it 210. That's not a. <sighs> blood absorption, though. Does some blood absorption. Now, it's a one handed weapon. Decrease stamina, that's nice. Blood absorption, I, I, oh, I can do all these now. I always like the stamina ones, so I think I'll go with that. I'm gonna go with that, that, and that, and then, so this will actually have a lot of stamina uh, drain. Um, as much as the two-handed axe, the perfect axe, in fact. It probably won't do remotely as much damage. Oh, could be a good mix. Could be a good mix with the steak, couldn't it? Could really be a good mix with the steak. And then we could, like, have the clay's hatchet along with the gun. So then we've got lots of blood drain and stun. Bl Mind you, you've got to... When it, that's also stun. That's, that's... Yeah, no, we got stun there. That would be stun from the axe. And, oh yeah, okay. We're going we're gonna to be trying that. We are going to be trying that. I do need to get... I dropped down the wrong way, didn't I? Yes, I did. Okay. Uh, thought for a second I was in a bit of trouble. Shouldn't really be in trouble in this neighborhood, should I? I mean, right about now, I should be able to handle. I just, I kind of want to see this thing in in action. Yes, I do. So, no, 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 stun. Oh, I was trying to stun him, but then the rat came in the way. Let's. Oh yes. Oh, I... That's it. We're getting the handle parts. Traders. We need traders. Oh! 
That is definitely more like it.